All right, warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, let's do this breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. And just like that, in Uchingaso, we're going to be realigning ourselves, our minds, so that we don't wander off. And look, we're going to touch on some points, maybe some shortcuts, some aha moments. But more than anything, how easily it is to get the narcissist more pissed or offerist uh, by doing nothing at all. Just nothing at all. That might be a song, right? Nothing at all. <laughs> That's the only part I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, look. Narcs, they need a therapist. It's uh, kind of like a, a live-in emotional regulator. And between you and I, they need a fucking exorcist. Uh, th this is Caroline, come to the light. Uh, that, that, that's way beyond our pay grade. Look, it's, it, it's difficult enough navigating in this journey, this bodysuit, this skin suit, getting to know shit, how you operate, why you think you do, why emotions and feelings get in the fucking way, uh, why logic eludes many. Uh, look, that, that's, that's for these demons. That, that it's their job to get that cross out the pussy, not yours. That, that, no. Once you see that head spinning, it's an exorcist, a poltergeist, a gin, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Narcissist, sociopath, psychopath. It looks like they're going to plead insanity in a court one day. Belong in prison. And some of y'all probably failed to report something you should have. And you're going to be one of them that, that's on television talking about you you dated a serial killer. Well, your narcissist, man, they're banking on you be, being the one that thinks you can exercise a demon. They want you to believe that you can be the savior empath, the bleeding heart. Uh, because you've been groomed that way. Yeah, see, once they hear you came from a broken home, shit. You just stuck a dick in their ear. Oh, it's like a squirrel fuck. They're going to be drawn to you like white on rice. Well, you see, uh, uh, while you're looking for honey, you're busy trying to convince a fly that a warm lump of shit is not better than honey. And the fly is just like, oh, man, you just got to get you some of this. I mean, have you ever seen such? Look, corn do not even process, comes out home. You can't, you can't reason with a reprobate mind, the, the narcissist. Five seconds, let's realign ourselves. Let's take a badass walk on the beach. And, uh, Let's keep it real, man. Let's realign ourselves and, and get you to a place where the rabbit found a gun. Feels good, don't it? For some of y'all, that's going to happen today. Five seconds, come on. Release slowly. <laughs> All right. Get your cougar on. Because if you don't, later on, you might be spitting it right out of your nose, man. <clears throat> Look. Narcissists always end up getting called out. but what, that, And it's not that they fail to understand it. They fully understand or self-aware enough. It's why they have to have a, a rotation. That they're always what they call spinning plates. In fact, many of them, when it used to be fashionable to talk about the player way openly, kind of like the use of cocaine, back at Studio 59, 
it, it used to be that way. It, it just like it's commonplace now to talk shit about men. But if you roll reverse, now all of a sudden you're a misogynist. It's a double standard. It, it's being called out now, and we're seeing more and more of it actually being called out by the very ones perpetuating at one time perpetuating that kind of hate switching sides it's why many of us need to be careful of the shape-shifting the chameleon the clout chaser where is it your discernment and your intuition to have been gone through this kind of awareness to better understand who the imposters are, the fakeness. And, and to you, it's so exaggerated that it comes on as if somebody might as well have been wearing a hula hoop skirt and a lay around her fucking neck screaming, I'm a fucking fake. I'm a fake. Or it's like they should be at a place of their healing where it doesn't emit hurt anymore. It's a different vibe. How about this one? Always looks like they're sweating because they, they, they're trying so hard to send out an energy of empathy, genuineness, authenticity. But man, you should know that it just sounds like they're struggling every, every time they're trying to share. Well, you're, narcissists really and truly, they just want you to fight for them. They, they want the attention, one. But they want you, ultimately, they want people to want them so bad that they would argue on their behalf and or fight for their attention. And look, there's nothing wrong with being wanted. There's nothing that's, that's not uh, what, what's a concern is when people get hurt because of envy and pride, jealousy. Because rather than doing the work for attention, or having a purpose and not attention being your purpose it's a different it's a different path where's manipulated attention is always going to be called out and it's it's what fucks them up it, it, it's what fucks narcissists up it gives them away every time and the bottom line is once you come into this understanding, you, you can't unsee it. You can't under, un understand it. It's why I'm having to lead you to a path to unlearn in order to relearn something you can't ever forget. Because uh, uh, now you're... How's that song go? Too legit. Too legit to quit. Too le... Yeah. That's all I know. I was almost sounding pretty cool, huh? If I just kept on... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost it on that. But look, narcissists have mastered the ability to leave a snail trail and destroy everything they come in contact with. Even things, even possessions, they will destroy rather than leave it behind. Rather than leave it for someone else to enjoy. And look, no one does this better than narcissists. They amass a fucking list of haters. Genuinely, they amass and hoard a list of people that they justifiably done wrong and pissed off to have it out for them. Warriors. How would you like to be cursed with the ideal that so many breathing the same air you breathe despise the very day you were born? That if there were ever a social credit score and it depended on that social credit score what you were able to produce and give back into the system and share with your fellow man. Respectful cooperation. And if you didn't meet that score, it was a deciding factor as to whether you were worth saving or not. 
at the emergency room. Look, we all know. <laughs> Mira, come here. Hey, stop what the fuck you're doing. Look at me. Come here. Look. If there's one thing you fucking remember today is this. Ain't nobody falls in love quicker than a broke-ass narcissist. Than a narcissist in despair. So I'm going to tell you right now. Narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths are always on the verge of despair. That's how they operate. This is their normal, man. <laughs> Do you understand? You take that away from them, they, they don't know how to chill. They, they <laughs> Look, they're more pissed her off as, for us this, the, than this, than anything is this, because they couldn't trick you. They couldn't trick you to be able to come back. They couldn't trick you to want them back, to pursue them. See, they done told everybody in their circle how they got you wrapped up like this. Yeah. And uh, you told them to stick that in their anus curly-whirly without saying it. <laughs> don't, don't make me repeat that. Look, what I'm saying is uh, you didn't want to play take-backs. No, no, at this time, you weren't going to be an Indian giver. You're just going to let... Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, ooh, ooh. How about this one? <laughs> ooh. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm still hurt. Oh, uh -uh. I need, I still need some, uh, some me time. I need to, uh, it's not you. It's not about you. It's all about me. <laughs> Look, they don't fucked around and found out. That's the bottom line. They don't fucked around and found out how unimportant they really are. They, they done blew air up their own ass somehow. And that's why I tell y'all, it ain't your job to figure out why a dog licks its own ass. Just know it does. And so it tries to reach out to lick on you. Don't allow it like a fucking chihuahua. You ever had one of them? That little butt licker right there? Leave your mouth open for a nanosecond. This little shit will have 20 licks down your throat before you have a nanosecond to react. That's what a narcissist does. But at the same time, you look down and your draws is already to your knees. That's why it's just not worth playing the games with a narcissist. It's designed for them to win just by you reacting and not responding. When you react, it matters not the reaction. What matters is they can still get you to react. So remember, they don't argue for understanding, they argue for a reaction. And if they got one from you, oh, you can bet your ass, they will interpret that, they'll interpret it whatever way they want. But you can bet your ass it's going to be to blow air up their own ego. Look, it's not fun when the hunter's the hunted. It's not fun when the rabbit finds the gun. And it's not fun for the narcissist to realize this. And it will only be because you are now applying what you're fucking learning. You're not in hermit mode. You see, you're not going to allow yourself to exist in this human form, you're gonna live. Warriors, it's narcissists that are shook, not you. You should be fucking excited as hell. That's all I'm saying. Drunk, stone, stupid, narcissist, or redneck. I don't know, but we finna find out. Look y'all, for real, these are a shitload of cards that I got. It's a card game. I, I don't even know how it's played, but this shit's so close to narcissist, red flag, sociopath, psychopath, BPD, bipolar, whatever you want, want to call it. Got yeah, folks having a bad day, or they're just redneck. And sometimes it may just apply to you. I mean, it just look, we all got a little bit inner inner ghetto. 
Uh, 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 no, no. All right. Never wants to do anything. Never wants to do anything. Needs to be included in every conversation. Has a drunk alter ego. Like a different person. A different people. When they when they drunk a, dr a drunk per person, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've definitely seen that. And I've also seen women that night that look totally different in the morning. Uh, yeah, without the, that stuff on. Quick to judge. Quick to judge. Runs shirtless to show off body. Thinks they're sophisticated and shit. Is so fucking lucky. Is so fucking lucky. I mean, for real. Mm. Touches everyone excessively for no reason. A touchy feely kind of. Can fall asleep anywhere. On a rock, on a beach. Will make out with absolutely anyone. Swapping spit with the devil ain't gonna get you nowhere. <laughs> Just wants to cuddle. Uh-uh. You can't afford my cuddles. Uh-uh. I'm sure it's not worth the therapy. <laughs> Warriors, get out there and own it. See, I bet you thought I made that shit up, didn't you? It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Thanks for all the support, Warriors. And don't forget, if you want to support the channel some more, there's a link right below this video. I don't know what it's called. It's a button there. I think it's details. I think. Fuck, I don't know. It might say link. But anyway, don't forget to join also. For less than seven cents a video... You're able to sponsor this channel, and you're able to spread the truth. You're going to be able to help plant seeds for the unheard voices that are still out there. It's never goodbye, words always until next time. Namaste.